Our next presenter is Joelle Carota. Um, she's a, a PhD student in the Department of Romance Languages and Literatures, and the title of her 3MT presentation is The Venezuelan Community of Pescara, Italy, a Sociolinguistic Analysis of Spanish in Contact with Italian. And one thing I would, I, I'll just share about you is that not only is Joelle, Joelle um, uh, an expert in Romance languages, but she's also learning American Sign Language. So, ready, set, pitch. Buenas tardes a todos. Voy a empezar mi presentación en español. Si ¿Sí están de acuerdo, sí. As you might have noticed, yes, that was Spanish. And it's actually very common for buying multilinguals like myself to use all languages available in their linguistic repertoire and to switch from one language to another in their daily interactions like I just did. In my dissertation project, I seek to shed some light on how the bilingual members of the Italo-Venezuelan community of Pescara, my hometown in Italy, use linguistic variation to create, shape, and portray their social persona. This is actually the first quantitative study that wants to understand how um, linguistic variation and manipulation of Spanish and Italian affects project, um, processes such as language maintenance and or language loss in a foreign context. Let us take as an example this set of two identical words, example number two, that translate as Easter in English. They would be pronounced in two different ways. In Italian, Pasqua, and in Venezuelan Spanish, Pasqua. Thereby, the speaker is left with two different options. The speaker will choose one of the two options depending on the message they want to convey to their audience. And we actually really want to know what that message is, as well as what is the answer that the speaker has for questions such as, are Italo-Venezuelans integrated into the Italian community? What do they think of the local school system? How are they approaching local uh, lifestyle and culture and language? You see, knowing the answer to these questions is very important for us so that we can first validate the very existence of this community and also we can help them in integrating successfully in the new community. By observing and studying natural language production, we want to create comprehensive linguistic and educational policies that could be implemented both at a national and local level and that take into account the linguistic diversity that has existed in the Italian school system for quite some time now. Also, I would like to create Spanish as a heritage language programs and Italian as a second language classes that target specifically these communities so that the younger generation do not lose their heritage language and culture. Think how much better things could be if these immigrant communities felt compelled to enhance the environment in which they lived. But we cannot help them doing so without first getting to know them. And this is what motivates my research. Thank you very much.